Hi guys, Stacy Burke here, yes, with another vlog. There is some footage that's been on my computer that I forgot to upload. It's basically like my favorites for May. So at the end of this, I'll probably post that on there. But uh, just a little tidbit. I hope you're liking the ink and iron video, but I have two more that I'm going to post. Uh, that's The first one is with my camera, the brand new camera that I never used before. And then I have footage from my cell phone. And the best footage of yet is one that Roy captured on his phone. His video is, like, awesome. It's just a bunch of us girls is dancing like crazy. It's, it's crazy. So, um, and also I wanted to catch you up. Like, last time, um, I think the video, this came from Ipsby. I still can't say the name. It's I-P-S-Y. It's this... Uh, online beauty company and you go online and you fill out some questionnaires and for ten dollars a month they'll send you like a kind of like a sample bag like just kind of like a gift bag but it's not really a gift because you pay for it but it's like you know just samples that you could try you know it, it's worth it so um well I don't know it's my first month so we'll see but this is what came in and then they give you like you know the beauty swim into beauty and it's a cute little makeup bag. Of course, I got a ton of them, but, you know. Oh, another little tidbit. Like, if I don't like something or if there's something I just won't use, I'm just going to save them. And then, like, if it's someone's birthday or something, I can make it, like, a nice little gift bag for them. At least that's my idea. Comes with a nice coral um, nail polish, which I need a manicure really bad. Coral nail polish. It's by this brand. I don't know. And it has um, some kind of new brow pencil, brow power. I don't know who it's made by. It Cosmetics came with that. Comes with a pink eyeshadow. Yeah, pencil. And I don't use pink. I don't usually use eyeshadow in general. And if I do, I just put a little brown in the creases. Or a little bit of highlighting. I don't really spend too much time on eyeshadow. Just once in a while. Uh, pink. I don't know if I'm going to use this. This will probably be a giveaway. And I'll probably give this away too. Because I have so much nail polish. But the brows I'm kind of excited to try. And then they have some kind of Smashbox um, primer for your foundation. I don't even use foundation. I use a BB cream or a CC cream. That's usually what I use, but give it a whirl. It's tiny, so might as well. And then these are kind of cool. These are Deep Puff iPads, and they gave me two. This will work after crazy weekend like I just had an ink and iron. So this is my first Ipsy gift bag thing. And they have also the social media thing, like if you know if you post a picture, if you vlog about it or something, you can get discount on it. So I don't know. I might vlog. I might post this up for them, but I'm gonna talk more about other stuff. So um, I don't know. But ten dollars a month. I heard there's other companies that do this, and it might it might be better. I don't know. But I'll go to world. I can cancel any time. Um, another little tidbit. I love hummus, but hummus could be very fattening. So I tried this Skinny Girl hummus. It was on sale. <laughs> um, which is good. This is a roasted garlic hummus, but it's not really hummus. It's made with non-fat Greek yogurt. It's gluten-free, uh, reduced calorie. Now, a lot of the Skinny Girl products, the taste is... This taste is a little bland, and I tried the other ones too. Oh, hold on. I'm boiling eggs for my husband, so that's the that's the, hold on. Huh. Yeah, I my husband loves hard boiled eggs every day, so I I boil eggs, so that's what I was just doing. Anyway, the, this hummus is a little bland. I tried different flavors, but there's this trick. If anything that is a little bland or something. This new, what is it called, tahine? It's this uh, seasoning that's supposed to be on fruit. You can put it, you can put it on anything. It's basically like chili and lime. 
It's not that spicy, so don't worry about any people like, oh, I can't handle spicy stuff. It's not that spicy. But you put a little bit in this, or you get pico de gallo. I love pico de gallo, which is basically, you have to get it fresh, though. It's chopped tomatoes, onions, cilantro, and jalapenos. You can do that, too. That's good on everything. I eat pico de gallo like crazy. Here, I'll show you what pico de gallo is. In case you don't know, you could chop it up yourself. And it's cold, so you can't see it. But it's on sale, too. I always get the sales, though, because I go every week to the grocery store. But it's basically, it's tomatoes, it's cilantro, it's, um, it's jalapenos, and, um, yeah. I don't know. I'm missing something. There's four so. Anyway, it's called pico de gallo. I use this. I, I throw it in salads. I... I, th I throw it as a garnish for almost anything makes it taste good. If you have avocado, sometimes just this on a cracker. It's pretty damn good. But, back, being sidetracked again. If you get anything like this, it's this kind of bland, but you, you know, tahine. It's so good. So that's my little tidbit on that. And I'm probably going to upload this video um, in between all the ink and iron ones. However, if you go to the playlist, this will probably be at the end of it. Because one thing with YouTube... If you do YouTube, when you schedule your videos, uh, and even if it's one that's not for a couple days, in the playlist, it will come in the playlist the day you uploaded it, which is odd to me because there was this video that I did about a couple years ago, me going to the Playboy Mansion, and I kept it private for the longest time. I don't know. I just felt like, uh, I just felt a little weird. But then finally one day, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to post it. So I made it public. And I thought it would be in the new upload since it is a new upload for you. But it's not in my new uploads. It's like now it's pushed back like two years ago. Like I, I published it two years ago, which I didn't. I published it the other day. So it's a little thing, YouTube, that maybe you could kind of tweak a little bit because... When it's in your newest uploads, it should be the day that you publish it, not the day that you upload it. You know what I mean? It's a little little thing. Okay, well, I guess that's all i got to really talk about. There's going to be more I want to talk about and stuff like that. But what this? Oh, and I updated my cell phone. I never wanted to update my cell phone. Little tidbit. When your phone says, um, update new software, ignore it, ignore it, because you'll get so many glitches. And I ignored it for a long time. Finally, I'm like, okay, fine, fine. Upload new software. Great. Okay. Everything's okay except for one little glitch. Sometimes my text messages don't send. It'll be buffering, buffering, buffering. So I restart it, buffering. Some of my text messages never show up. They, they, and it says switching to multimedia, and I'm like, what is the deal with this? And, it's, and it gets hot really fast. That's another little pet peeve that don't update when the phone. Now, there's some things that when it updated that I kind of like, but you, know, you always end up with a glitch. Well, anyway, I'm not going to talk anymore because I'm going to post the old footage about my May favorites uh, up. So um, I'll talk to you later. Have a groovy day. Peace. Keep watching. And here we go. Hi guys, Stacey Burke here. And I have no makeup on. It's on a Sunday. I was really hungry, so I made myself like a big breakfast. But by the time I made it, I wasn't hungry anymore. Maybe I just needed the smell. And maybe the taste testing kind of helped too. I made, um, I cooked bacon, and then once I had the bacon grease, I put um, spicy sausage and eggs, and I put some broccoli in it and cheese. I just basically just threw a bunch of stuff together, and it was really good. I took a few bites, and then I was done. So I guess that's it. I'm going to do a little kind of my favorite thing for May or June. Some of the things I've probably talked to you about. Like, I have no makeup on, I had a big birthday, and it's like, I haven't had any plastic surgery except for these. So there's just, like, a few items. I'm going to give you also um, an update on my sub-D that, that I'm a subscription of, of the...
cold plasma sub D. I think it's Pericone MD. And I subscribed to it. It was $150. Um, actually, it's more than that. It's $173. But you do it. They they take the money out of your bank in three increments, which is like one's 57 and then one's 67 and the other one's 57 or something. It's just it comes out to $173. And then you're supposed to get one of these, which I do, for your neck. And then they give you a, a freebie. But the last, well, not really free, um, the last few times they keep giving me this stuff, which is like this um, facelift thing. And it works pretty good. I mean, it's okay. But it's like I now I've been getting the subscriptions because you get it every, um, you get new products every, I think, four months. And, um, but I think I'm going to cancel it even though I love the Sub-D and it works really well. But for, it's basically $173 for this because even though they give you a freebie, which is this, it's not really what I would buy, but I'll use it. Um, this stuff's better, this blue plasma. But I noticed on Amazon, you could get this jar, which is two fluid ounces, I found it, you could get it for like 80 bucks. So I'm spending an extra 100 for something that I don't really, I mean it's okay, but I have a, a lot of these bottles because it keeps sending me, so I'm, I'm done. So I canceled. So my thoughts, my little advice to you, if um, you're going to get it, go to Amazon. <laughs> Sorry. Um, a Pyricone, your subscription kind of sucks. It's not worth it. If I'm going to subscribe to you and you're going to take money out of my bank account every three months and it comes up to $173, I expect a little bit more for that. So that's why I canceled. Um, but this stuff really works so good on the neck. I really love this stuff. And yes, I would spend $100 on this. So if they did a subscription where it was like, hundred dollars instead of hundred seventy three dollars yeah I would I would not cancel but it's not worth it so yes this sub D works really well and everyone does like those Kyle Jenner lip stuff so I bought these um I think they're called full lips on Amazon but my bad I thought I had small lips so I bought small and they don't fit me they don't fit me at all. Uh, they even gave me, I think, a small and a medium. So maybe I should have got a large. Like, I can't get my lips in that tiny thing. But, um, no, it doesn't work. So um, these probably would work, but my advice would get like a, a get a large. And I would get round because I still use the shot glasses that everyone uses. And I know people make fun of it. And if you have, like, lip fillers, you probably shouldn't use them because Trisha Paytas said that um, you shouldn't use the shot glass um, trick because it could pull all the filler in the middle. So, um, don't. I don't have lip filler. Uh, I, I used to do, like, a long time ago, but it just would just eat, my lips would just eat it up. So, I still do the shot glass sucking to to plump up my lips every day and it works I'm sorry it works better than lip venom and all that kind of stuff what I usually use is this shot glass and I don't know where it's at but um yeah I just put my lips in a shot glass suck for a while don't don't go too harsh because you don't want to bruise them or do anything bad but I just suck on it for like you know like 10 minutes and then I put on my makeup and go and I have full lips for it lasts pretty much all day for me. So that's my little tidbit, even though I know a lot of people are like, what? It does work for me because I don't have any lip fillers. Another thing, this is amazing. I tried this Gold Bond Skull Restoring with Q10 as vitamin A, C, and E. Now, I'm all, all my life, I always get creams with A, C, and E. I'm a very big advocate at A, C, and E. A is really good. For um, sledding off old skin, it's you know, and C is a good radiance antioxidant toner, and E is good for moisturization. Well, I got this as a fluke; it was on sale, 
and oh my god when you put it on your skin feels like butter I don't know what this Q10 stuff is but it just feels amazing it almost feels like a shea butter it's just so good and so um, I had to go back to the store and buy it and it wasn't on sale it was $11 which is not that bad but um, you know I'm cheap but this stuff if you find it it's so good and it has everything you need this is what I look for A, C, and E and Q10 so this is good so yes on that and of course you know my, my these the sub D stuff go on Amazon but I really do recommend that this the body shop I think I told you about this vitamin C spray I love it whenever you're feeling your skin's like dry and you don't want to put a cream on if you already have makeup on you spray this on it smells good and you have a radiant glow and it moisturizes your makeup and everything this stuff is awesome another thing I've, I've been using this for a while and I like it now it's not a miracle cure this is fat girl six pack it's a tummy tightening gel doesn't make you lose weight what it does is I kind of have loose tummy skin from like um you know weight gain getting skinny weight gain getting skinny it just kind of loses elasticity this just kind of tightens my skin so you could see more of this if I had six packs but whatever muscles that are underneath so it, it tightens the skin a little bit so it, it seems like you're slimmer but you're not it just tightens the skin I actually like it. it has like these little nodules in there and it's a gel and you rub it I rub it on my belly every single day and I have been noticing a difference I have been noticing a difference I don't know if I want to show you let's see I don't know does it look good I don't know you can't really tell because you don't really have a before and after so I don't know you can't really but for me I know the difference <laughs> looks, like, looks like I'm going trying to show you but um I know the difference in the skin and I, I like it so I've been using it but I also use it been using the derma roller what I've been noticing what I've been trying to do like you know how people do the face they always do stuff on the face well now I do on the neck and I do it right here wherever the sun gets me I always do treatments and I do stuff but now I've been trying to do, concentrate on my hands and also my stomach anywhere where I want the skin to be better so I've been of course you've probably seen this before the Duma roller which is like little pins and needles and it's basically you just kind of like putting pins and needles in your face and and it, it you're gonna look all red and splotchy afterwards so I don't recommend this before going out but it's good like on a weekend when you're gonna stay home and no makeup you put this on just Google Duma roller I do recommend these I think I've done a tutorial on this before so in past blogs so I might be repeating myself and of course repeating myself again I really like this the derma wand it just zaps your skin I really like it and I, I do the lips and stuff now and of course I do the what new face this is like microcurrents is like tasing your skin and it's supposed to like this supposed to work the the muscles this gives your muscles a workout this is kind of uh, radio active it kind of just um, injures the skin a little bit just kind of zaps your skin to simulate collagen and it's this is really good now this works out the muscles and I used to do the forehead but I stopped doing it because I realized that you know what Botox does and if you know I can't do Botox because I get sick on it but Botox paralyzes the muscles and that's why you don't get wrinkles so when I start doing the forehead I'm thinking hmm is it a smart idea to strengthen the muscles in the forehead maybe not so I stop doing the forehead and I just concentrate here and work in the muscles so it pulls the skin tighter so this is the new face this works the muscles this is the derma wand it zaps the skin stimulates the collagen same, same with the derma roller although this punctures holes into your face so the cream gets in whatever you use it irrigates and plus it exfoliates and stuff and same with this is like an exfoliation stuff I know I'm going all over the place sorry if this is like crazy but that's how I am and this SpaceX 
This is kind of almost like the Aluma mask, which I want to try. It's red light light therapy. And this, it's very subtle. You don't really notice what's working on. I think I told you before, it works really good on the hands because it's really good for like little fine lines. But I still use it because um, even Dr. Oz says um, red light therapy, it will clear your skin like it's good for acne. And um, it's just, it's just kind of good for the skin. Uh, red light therapy. Oh, however, if you're looking for like something really drastic for the wrinkles, this is not it. This basically just kind of clears the skin a little bit from any acne or blemishes. Uh, plus, it does work on really tiny, crepey, fine line wrinkles, I guess. Which is why I like it on the hands. But um, I get a lot of blemishes like on the nose. So I close my eyes because I don't want to uh, look at it. But it's good to clear up the little blemishes. Because I still get that. I still get little pimples once in a while. Especially if I overdo it with the um, face creams and stuff. And I like to do the de decollage. And I'll even do my stomach area. Like I say, I've been concentrating on the stomach and the hands now. Because, you know, it's good to take care of your whole body. Although, you know... This is all takes time, but um, these are my favorites uh, for now. Of course, some of them are repeats from last, but I hope that helps you. And I have been um, waxing my eyebrows. I used to shave them, but I've been waxing them because I'm wanting them to grow. I want my I want bushier eyebrows, so I've been doing that. That's about it but yeah for like no makeup all this stuff I do a little bit every day just a little takes me about like maybe five ten minutes here and there um, I try not to make it take over my whole life because I want to enjoy life I don't want to like just stay home and do treatments all the time but it does work and I do like them so I hope you're having a groovy day and I'll talk to you later peace